A Klein ISD student who claimed she was harassed for sitting during the Pledge of Allegiance has won a legal battle. A $90,000 settlement has been awarded in this case. And our Michael Lapardi spoke with the student's attorney and joins us live this evening from Northwest Harris County tonight. Michael? Danielle, the school is just behind me here. The lawsuit was filed back in 2017, and one of the attorneys that I spoke with tonight told me that he was pleased to see the case come to an end. Attorneys say a years-long legal case tied to the Pledge of Allegiance at Klein Oak High School has come to an end. I'm glad that the uh, defendant finally made the smart decision and settled the case before we before we went to trial. Jeffrey Blackwell is litigation counsel for the civil rights group American Atheists and an attorney for the plaintiff. The rights of students to refrain from making ideological or um, uh, or religious statements uh, has been well settled since uh, West Virginia Board of Education v. Barnett. He says the Klein Oak case was about a student identified in court records as M.O. sitting out or declining to participate in the Pledge of Allegiance at school. She spoke back in 2017. I also believe that we live in a country where there isn't justice and freedom for all, and so I'm not going to stand for a pledge that says there is when there really isn't. The student's mother filed a lawsuit against the school district and several staffers, accusing several of them of retaliation and discrimination as a result of the student's stance. If a person wants to speak or express themselves or decide not to speak or not to express themselves, that is protected under the First Amendment to the Constitution. Blackwell says the defendants were dismissed from the suit over time, except for one teacher, Benji Arnold, who agreed to settle the case. American Atheist says the Texas Association of School Boards, a risk pool, paid $90,000 to resolve the case. And Klein ISD told us that it was awarded summary judgment and did not enter into any settlement. We also reached out to attorneys listed for the teacher but have not heard back yet. Blackwell says the student is now in college. Reporting live tonight, Michael Lopardi, KPRC 2 News.